right, so I'm back. I had a little problem with my, with my camera. The memory, this S20 sucks. Anyhow, so um, to recap this, what I went over with never worked. Okay, so I got the AgriFab. This is the AgriFab um, tow behind, and I got a tow behind Thatcher, uh, which I got off Craigslist. I think it's made by Brinkley or Brindley. I can't remember the name. Brindley. I don't know. It's a home store junk, but anyway, it works. Um, so it's just garden tractor stuff. This is stuff that you would buy for your regular garden tractor. Go around. You can use a zero turn too as well. But they're not the home store stuff. Already comes hooked up with um, hookups. But this one is actually from a DR vacuum chipper that I had in the back, so it's a better setup. And basically, um, this one has got the tines on here. I have sharpened these quite a bit. Uh, pretty simple to pretty simple to use. Um, you're going to have your pin right here, which is what you use to get it on there so that's pretty simple you also have this which is junk it doesn't ever stay locked it just falls out so. you lose pins left and right anyway so basically let me get down here with this is this thing spins around as you go and it pushes and plugs in This is about the average of what you get out. It's about maybe an inch or two. Um, but this is some pretty average ground. So even I, I had about I had a hundred pounds on there. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. I'm gonna use that tire, and I'll show you a little trick that I've done with this to get extra weight. Uh, believe it or not, if you have like a grass seed bag, it's 50 pounds. You can throw that on there too. If you have your lime bags, you can throw them on there and strap them in. Um, but I'm gonna show you a trick that I've used that puts weight on this thing. Works really well. Is just use a tire. So I know if you long guy, you got trailer tires all over the place. So pretty simple. It goes in there, hooks up to that. How you get this thing on is pretty simple. First you find your plug, and then you stick it in there. Here's your plug. Okay. Use up on your thing there. Very simple. Try it through and put the pin in. See this doesn't really stay locked, it falls out, so it's useless. This weights. This is what I did with the tire. Just like that, the tire will usually fall off and it'll end up just hanging like that, which is nice because it puts even more weight down on the tines. And I use on regular barbell weights instead of using cinder blocks because they'll just fall off. And um, that's what you're supposed to use on these things, it actually has slots for it and holes for tying down with the strap, which they don't give you any of that. So, there you go. So there you go, that's uh that is set up. I'm gonna do a little class with this so you can see it.
So like I was saying, you get about that. That's about all you get, even no matter how hard it goes down. Sometimes you get some nice ones like that, but um, you never get the really big chunks like you get with a, uh, a walk behind. I mean, well, there's one or two. Yeah, there's one. It's unusual. because the ground. That's because the ground's really soft here. Um, so that's an unusual setup. Usually you don't ever get, doesn't ever go down that deep. Um, but that's basically what, what you're dealing with with one of these. Pretty simple to operate. And uh, for the money, it's, it's worth it. You know, you're probably setting yourself back $150. That's about it. Maybe two hundred versus $1,000, $1,500, $2,000 for a well off behind one. So there you go. Now I cut the grass yesterday <clears throat> with the Husqvarna Zero Turn and I cut it low at about uh, 275, two and a half I think, can't remember, I cut it pretty low. And um, so I'm going over it with this mower because I had to set up the hookups on it and um, using the aerator going back and forth. Now I went ahead and thatched it before I did the aeration because I was trying to aerate first and then thatch and it was just pulling up too much ground. And this is all weeds, so I guess the homeowner is wanting to finally put some time and effort into fixing this yard. So she's probably going to come out and feed, uh, seed and fertilize it herself, I'm sure. Um, so uh, this is actually one of my oldest customers, and I got her back again. Um, I guess um, it's kind of a good thing. But um, so it was. this is how I started off cutting this grass, actually with this mower, uh, for a long time. And it was a frustrating ordeal. You know, you had to go over it four or five, six, seven times of this mower before you actually got it looking nice. And sometimes you get lucky and it looks nice, but for the most part, the time cutter doesn't cut that great. But it's um, it's a good mower for what it is. Um, I know the newer ones are a lot better than this one, but um, it got its it got its job. It got its money's worth. Um, so basically, that's what I'm doing. This is how I would aerate. Um, took a chance on this aerator. It, it works. I don't do a whole lot of it because it is a pain in the butt to haul around. So. Um, it is heavy. It's not something you can really pick up. You have to roll it everywhere you go. And um, it works. So um, I'm probably going to show the thatching also, but I don't really like the results. So I'll have to show that because it's the first time actually using a tow behind thatcher. But, um, so here you go. This is um, basically what it is.